In this video, we're going to take a look at the Extreme PBR Nexus add-on, which allows you to mix thousands of different textures in Blender. To demonstrate the add-on, I'm going to set up a simple scene. So I'm going to press X to delete the default cube, then Shift A and add a plane, and then S to scale. And then I'm going to select the light and turn it into a sun. And then we can select the plane and then press N. And if you have the add-on installed, it will look like this. As you can see, a lot of categories and in each of the categories, you have a lot of different textures. So let's select this one, for example. I'm going to go for the highest resolution texture. And when we go into rendered view, it's going to look like this. And then we can scale the texture like this. And then you can also move it on the different axis and rotate it as well in the settings above. You can also increase the bump values, which are also visible in Eevee. In the recent update, we can also combine the different textures. So uh, let's uh, scale up the add-on and then we're going to select another one. So I'm going to select one of the electronics textures. So, uh, this one, for example, and then add chip 005 to new module. And then we can paint on top of the previous texture. So uh, let's increase the radius. You can also decrease the strength of the texture paint if you want a uh, smoother transition between the different textures. And then once you have painted the object, you can of course edit the uh, texture and the material individually, like this. So we're playing around with the uh, bump maps and so on, as well as the rotation and scale. And then you of course have a lot of other textures to uh, play around with. It's almost 2000 uh, textures at uh, this point. So uh, you have a lot to choose from in every category. And if you want to change the texture, you can just select a, a new texture and then click on the refresh button. And then we can go down and uh, increase the scale. And then we're going to take a look at a, another recent feature to this add-on, which are all of the different surface imperfections you can add and edit on top of the uh, textures. So uh, let's select this one, for example, and then click add FX layer. As you can see, we now have some uh, surface imperfections. And you can, of course, edit these uh, imperfections with a lot of different sliders. So you can change the uh, colors, the scale, the rotation, and so on. And you can also use a uh, brush. So you can unpaint, for example, to make it a bit softer. So uh, all in all, a uh, huge update. And uh, now it's up to you whether or not you think it's worth the uh, price. Thank you guys for watching and uh, subscribe.